Hey guys, welcome back uh, to another farm sim. So we're back on our farm this time. Another stream, not a video, but uh, just, just working better with time at the moment. But uh, we will we will still carry on with the videos because we're enjoying them. So I'm currently in the garage of my actual farm that we own. I do have the gearbox mod installed, so it'll be a bit of trial and error today as well. So. Alright, we're gonna go and finish up some. Uh, what were we up to? I'm pretty sure we were doing. So if I get rid of that, and I get rid of that, I can work out what we were doing. So we were doing grass. So we're doing a bit of slurry. I can't remember what we did actually do though. I just reminded you, right? So we did 18. Uh, ah, okay. So we did 28. 9, 11's done. 6 needs doing. Yeah, so we can go up, do 6, 7, and 8. We'll do some slurry on that. So yeah, we'll go and do that. That'll do us next. Alright, so we're gonna do... We'll not be auto off. You'll have to bear with us with this because it's going to take us a bit of time to get used to the auto gears, but we'll, we'll, we will get there definitely. Right, so that I definitely want off. So that one. Ah, so you can turn it off per tractor, which is pretty cool. So we should be off with a rotation now, excellent. So if we go in reverse, ah, here we go, yeah, we're with them. I think um this is gonna this is gonna take a bit of time this. Right, so how do I get this attached? Has this got manual attaching on? I wonder. He's close there like. I don't know what I've done differently. Ah, there we go. Right, she's attached now. Hey, Sam, just get a USB adapter for a fiver for your Logitech shifter. The good thing is with tractors, you don't need to change gear very often. It's weird though, because I've not got auto box on, but I can still hear it changing gear. So I'm in six now. And I can still hear you changing gear. Which is weird.
It is nice being able to put it in the neutral though. That's a nice touch. Right, so we're off to field six. Yeah, so I'm in fourth there and I can hear it changing gear, which is still very, very odd. But I'm sure it'll be something I'm doing wrong. Right, why aren't you working? Okay, we'll get that sorted. But yeah, Chris, if there's something I'm doing wrong, uh, that would be great. It is a good track to yeah, we're just going to go and knock a bit of slurry in. That's what we're on with next. Control is nice to have though. Well, I, I do wish we had more actual like gearbox control. Alright, so I'm pretty sure it's uh, this field here will knock it out next. Yeah, Chris, I've been in the. Uh, I was in the controls there, so I've got uh, automatic off. Yes, yeah, so that's turned off. Oh, I got a minute. I don't know which mode I want. Ah, so I think it's, I think it's that. Yeah, okay. Alright, we'll just have a drive around this field and see if I can get it right. Different driving gears, right? Okay. So it still changes gear for you. So that's not a gear. That's not a gear. Right. And that's reverse. You'll have to bear with this, it's a learning curve. <laughs> I may as well learn live because then you guys get to know, so I want automatic clutch at all. So I've got D slash R, I've got gears plus and minus, and then I've got right, it's a one uh I don't know which one I would actually need, so I tried. So which one would I actually need, do you reckon? I 
don't know what the shuttle do. Changes the direction with the... Okay. Try changing transmission. Uh, okay, what's this do? Type of transmission, a uh, variable transmission. Other transmission have 12 different gears. Ah, right, okay. So, I probably want to leave... Where was that? At standard. <laughs> I can't remember. Right, uh, you're probably right here. Two times six is for best. Own cog configuration. Vario. Car with low. Six by four. Six with splitter. Full power shift. Two by six. Right, so what does two by six give us? Ooh, ooh, that sounds nice. So that's reverse. That's low six. Right. We're getting there, we're getting there. Right, so what I need to know now is, what was that one originally? <laughs> Can you guys remember? I for some reason think it was on this. Right, so that's... Right, so that's one low, one high. Too low, too high. Right, so I can split each of them. Five, six. Right, where's me? And then I've got six high gears. I've got eight gears there. That must, that must be... Is that a crawler gear, that? What's six high like? The only thing with that is, I feel like I've got too many gears, but that's two by six. So you guys were saying the DR was standard. Right, the DR is definitely not what I'm after. Because I've only technically got two speed then. Yeah, I don't want to have to use it like a sequential, man. Uh, Adro, if I switch to a different cam, mate, you can't see what I'm doing. So I think... I honestly, this is the only thing I'm going to struggle with. Alright, so I've got one, two, three, four, five and six. And I've got... Where's my high and lows up? And then I've 
got high. That's all right, like. All right, that works. The question is, where's my reverse at? My reverse must be in here somewhere. Oh no, my reverse will be... Is it that one? That's low and high. And that's also low and high, okay. So where's reverse? Can't not have reverse. Right, so that's not the one we want. Right, let's try this one. to go. I'll turn the indicator off though. Ah, oh, we're getting it now. I'll learn it, man. Nightmare, Sandy, definitely. But, once you've learned it, it's no good me showing you when I know how to do it, because everyone goes, oh, that looks easy. It's a realistic gearbox mod from Gitto, but I will do a video on it once I know what I'm doing. Take a bit of learning, like. Right, uh, it's good when you get it sorted. Yeah, that's it. I mean, you cannot do it realistically because a lot of the newer tractors, you know. Uh, Raging. What's up, man? You're right, angry little shite lately, you. I don't know why you watch. I honestly don't know why you would watch. I wouldn't sit watching Coronation Street going, God, why am I watching this? I would just turn it off. there now. I'm about moved in. Right, how did you make it so when you go into reverse it looks behind? It does that for you, the mod does it itself. Oh, don't get me wrong, I mean, the only reason I want to you to see me actually learning the gearbox mod is because what happens is in two weeks when I know what I'm doing everyone will come around going oh that was how did you manage that that looks easy and then you can say well I spent two or three streams not having a clue what I was doing You can have it so it, it steers, it turns with your steering as well, which is weird. But as you turn the wheel, the camera moves in the cockpit. It's actually a really, really good mod. It's very well thought out. 
I just as, as I say, I don't really know what I'm doing at the moment, but I'm sure I'll get there. I'm so gutted Char Charwell doesn't uh, support Sim Dashboard though. Twenty-seven inch uh, Marek, they are. HS two is on at eight pm tonight. And then I'm gonna do a bit of fours at eleven. My dad's not on tonight, so Yeah, I mean it'll be interesting in the newer tractors, but the good thing is it's more like program. You just you just pick the gear that you want, and then it changes for you. Oh no, it's all right, mate. I got it sorted anyway. doing today Bradley you alright? I don't know actually because I'm not a farmer I'm a gamer yeah you enjoy mate you alright mate? absolutely alright Dave how we doing? It's nice seeing all the trees and that's starting to grow now, like. Back to the slurry time. I do actually need to go and rescue a tractor as well. Uh, I left the tractor in the middle of the road. I was trying to get the gearbox thing working. I, I did generally think I had it sorted, but it, it seems all right at the minute. I mean, I don't know what speed these would be in real life. I don't really know. So, and trying to get a gearbox for every tractor, I think would be a nightmare. For me, being able to use the gearbox generally just, just means it just heightens the experience a little bit, that's all. So is good Hey Sarah how's your day been Why at a hope So, what I need to know is, the bit that I'm working on, where are we up to? Alright, so why isn't that working at all? Is it just because it is grass? Because them two are done. There's a bit on it. Uh, we'll, we'll cover it anyway. I may as well while I've got a tank here. Yeah, 
Yeah, so just all it is is it needs a cut. Oh no, is, am I in the wrong? No, I'm in seven. Yeah, it just needs a cut. Right, we'll go and get this job. Sorted. Right, we'll chop this and then we'll come back. Yeah, I normally do, but it's because I just bought that field that I couldn't remember with uh, seasons whether you could still slew it, because obviously without seasons you can't. gonna find the John Deere because I'm pretty sure I left it in a field somewhere. I did. I know you did mate, you didn't tell me why though. On a serious note mate, if you carry on I'm just gonna permanently ban you. If you're not here to enjoy the stream and, and generally help, if you're here as a know-it-all, you know more than me, I know nothing, and I honestly don't care. Yeah, see you later, Sarah. I'm learning just as I go, you know, I've done very little seasons, really. Grab them more. Go, cool. all right, so drop that there. Hey, Jack Star, it's a mod that I'm just trying out. I don't really know an awful lot about it at the moment. Yeah, see you later, dude. Enjoy your day. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, I would love to say I know everything, but I generally don't. I enjoy farm sim. But I'm not a farmer and generally don't know everything I'm learning as I go, which I think is good for a lot of people. And in chat, if you want to help, brilliant, you know, but you need to actually tell me what I'm doing wrong. So the reason I thought I could slurry that was purely because obviously I normally do, but I don't normally use seasons, so. Hiya Lewis, how we doing? And today is more of a bit of a trial and error because I'm having to go with this new uh, gearbox mod and I'm sure I'll get used to it. The only downside to it is you've got to adjust the gearbox for every tractor which is good and bad because it means you can have one tractor as auto and one as manual which is pretty good actually. Uh, but it's the same with the steering as well. So when I turn the steering, as you can see, my camera rotates. But you can just turn that off by doing Control C 
and going to uh, this this setting here and then you've got a camera uh, rotation and just turn that off Uh, it's just a one-off GitHub. Uh, it's really good, man. Right, we're in the low gear box. So we're going to drop that down. We should more at about 20 k's, I think. So let's see how it goes. Uh, I don't mind dropping the link, mate. Yeah, I just I don't really know what I'm doing at the moment, so. I will do a video on it, but yeah, it's just on GitHub, I just googled it. It just take a bit of learning, you know. The low and high in this thing don't seem to do much. Which is interesting. Uh, so I'm going to check. Ah, okay. I haven't yet, is it out yet Fortnite? Yeah, I haven't yet. Well, it's possibly too low gear up the hill already. Ah, it is out, is it? It's only out for 8, yes. Came out, come out on Monday. It definitely didn't, because I checked it yesterday. ETS isn't out yet, but ATS is. Uh, we're about six low for for this, so it's just going to be learning the gear ratios and whatnot, which is good. Gives us something else to do. Uphill's going to struggle, though, I think. It isn't, mate. Well, it wasn't when I checked yesterday. Eh, she isn't screaming, no. Don't think so. She might, she might be going on red, red dead or something like that, you know. ATS, like we're all telling you, yeah. Ah, she just went live. What's she playing Red Dead? She'll definitely be playing Red Dead, I would imagine. Right, we'll get this field road and slurry straight away, get it turned around.
Ah, Red Dead, yeah, she's loving it, eh? I did enjoy it last night, though. I had a really good night last night. Probably one of the best I had in a while. Yeah, no bother Fortnite. It was just, we, we have all played it, so we're all waiting for the ETS 2 one to come out, you know? Uh, and I, I'm, I don't, actually. I'm, I'm not keen on it. What, were you just stuck in the queue, Sean, I take it? Yeah, it was a good laugh, man. Go on, little trap there. Oh. It doesn't like full lock while the blades are running. Cool, we're good. Excellent man, yeah I know you can't find it, grind it, you're right there, vip. <laughs> I'm just fishing about for gears. Just a learning curve, you know, you all start somewhere. Some people like to hide away, learn something, be good at it, and then stream it, whereas it's got out to hide. Oh, don't, don't worry Sean, I'll get rid of him if need be. It's clearly what he's after. At least one of us is enjoying ourselves today, and it's not him. I could have just carried on doing farm sim how I was for the past three years, but I decided to try something a little bit different. With the gearbox mod and seasons, and I'm loving it, man. Absolutely loving it. Just a bit different. I used to, FS17, I used to use the gearbox mod all the time. But then you've got to learn every tractor, every gear, and what, what they do uphill, what they do downhill. So it does take a bit of time. to move that slurry tank out the way but we'll see if we can get it out without moving it. We'll have a go. Hiya Richard White, how are you doing? Hope you're well my friend. because I can do 22 kilometers an hour in uh, in first high or I can do 18 kilometers an hour in sixth low so it's like trying to find the right 
go for it, but I don't think that's too bad. That's going to be too low, Rev, that. Yeah, perfect. That'll do us. We should be rolling well. We are indeed. We'll lift this and put this straight in the pit. Wouldn't mind getting the pit full, filled up a bit. We used to have it full. Ah, hello, Patrick. How are you doing? Afternoon, Mr. J. How's it going? Hey, Black Panther, how's it going? Right, we're going to miss this little bit on the left here, but I'm not too bothered. It sounds epic going up the hill, though, doesn't it? Oh, got half a can of monster from yesterday. That'll do. It's a bit flat like. You've got an addiction to class tractors. See, I like John Deere stuff. And I think the main reason I like it is because there's some older stuff. The same same particular reason why I like Fords, you know. Right, we do need to go and pick someone up from the shop. And I did leave a tractor in the middle of the road on purpose. Here she is. Perfect. Right, so automatic and everything's on on this one, so... I don't know what a tractor like this would have. Would it full power shift, I would imagine? Sounds good, doesn't it? Right, we're off to the shop. Uh, yeah, I think my dad said he found Laguna Seca in the crew too, Richard, yeah. Xbox Gamer, I was thinking at 11, mate, yeah. Right. Where can you find the different logos? They are on that website there. I'm trying to get to the shop, but I'm in a weird part of the map. Ah, this would be a Vario. Uh, I think we had Vario, didn't we? Yeah, we do. There you go. That's a very old there. Right, so how do I get that in high? Ah, there we go. Yep, six high. Sorted. Ah, I didn't know you played it, mate, to be honest.
Right, the farming guy is saying, uh, see, it's something, mate, I'm not actually going to be bothered by learning every shift for every tractor, because to be honest, there's too many of them. But you're saying it's a power shift for a case, uh, call it power command button for up or down, and yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I have actually, I've got that. Uh, yeah, but it won't, it won't let me. Right, that's fine. But you, as I say, you need to learn every one, you know. So, for me, just having the program buttons where I can just pick a button and that's it. That works for me. Uh, and then the older tractors I've got set to full manual, uh, which, again, works for me, so... Tricks are good, mate. How are you? Right, go and pick this one up. Slipknot's a bit old school, is it not? Uh, it's just a modded tractor, yeah, it's a Case Puma. What I used to have on Farm Sim 17, it's just got like an open pipe engine sound, it sounds brilliant. Sean, I remember when I found it one day and then I was using it every day and everyone was just loving it, you know. But yeah, I think the streams for the rest of the day will be this. Uh, and then trucking at 8 and Forza at 11. But I could do trucking at 11, I'm not bothered. I do, David, yes. It was funny, wasn't it? Last night brought back some really good memories, actually. Drop that down and turn it up, and we can go. So, in theory, when we come round the other side, we should be able to knock it in the lower box and it should just go straight up the hill. In theory. Uh, I don't wanna know. No, not a big fan. It's 
still pulling all right. That pulls fine. Really? So the, the, the newer tractors for me, I can just pick a gear and then just switch between low and high, which I think is perfect. How are you doing today, Wompy? You all right? That train's been passed about 19 times. I wonder if he's just going around the circle. Yeah, my dad's out tonight, man. Oh, he's out and about. Yeah, where uh, babysitting he is. this up just gonna clear up the tatty bit uh, 8 p.m. yeah I was possibly not going to and do it a little bit later uh, and just truck for a good few hours later on uh, but I'm, I'm not 100% yet I've not made my mind up so we'll, we'll keep it on the open I'm gonna see how the boss is when she comes in from work you can have different gearbox configurations different drafters that is brilliant I'm a big fan of that I think I've also got an easy reverse button as well haven't I um, yeah so I can just hold that in yeah so yeah that works as well cool tell you what, another thing, put it in reverse and it actually puts the camera backwards, that's night and day man, I mean, some of this stuff should have just been in farm sim as standard, and this gearbox mod is insane really when you think about it, I don't know why they don't just work with the modders to make it a far better sim you later, instead of just being a pretty good game. I think there's more people treat this particular title as a sim than what they do a game so I don't know why the the game developers are keeping it so game related but because they're not bringing another farm sim out this year it does make you wonder is that what they're going to do you know concentrate on making it more simulated More DLCs and that's good, but it, if it's just to add to the game, it does make you it does make you wonder. So realistically, we should go more that field, shouldn't we? Because I won't be able to spread. That's actually got fur on it, so I'll park this up. We're tipping in there, so I'll park it in this one.
I need manual attach on now, man. Yeah. Go full legit. Got loads of jobs on the day on the farm. It could be a, a longish one. Yeah, I've got a toggle button on my button box. If I hold it up, it uh, if I hold it up, it actually puts it in reverse, which is easier than the fanatic push down reverse. You know, so you just need to have it. I don't think you do need to have it in gear. You actually, do. No, you don't. There you go. That works really, really well. Right, I'll go and park this in the field. Screens are looking good today. The farm's generally just looking cool. Yeah, there's a lot of programmable stuff you can do with a gearbox mod, and I will, I will show you once I know. I just, I'm an absolute noob with it at the moment, like. So, so back in the case. That started. Are you evil, Scott? Yes, mate. Yeah, indeed. I keep forgetting with this tractor. I don't actually need to use a gear. I can just stick it in low. Oh no, it still needs to be in a gear. Yeah, okay. Right, we'll go low. Alright, we'll bag in a few hours tonight on tyre uh, GT4. I know the, G the GT4, I, I am looking forward to try it. I don't own it, uh, but I'll, uh, I'm will i going to have a go with my dad because my dad's got it. So I'm quite looking forward to trying it. It does look a good car though. Better than the Audi anyway. Right, we are 88% full. Are you a Reaper? Yes, it is on Xbox, yep. Uh, four Xboxes to run this configuration, obviously four screens. Right, GT3. Ah, right, okay, I got you there. I was going to say, like, I was wondering, it's an interesting choice of car. Uh, this is Charwell. My only gripe with Charwell at the moment is I can't use the tablet on it. That's my only complaint. But I mean, other than that, it's it's a phenomenal map. I'm gonna have to come back for a, a tiny snail. Oh no. Yeah, there can't be much left. Ah, I'm just gonna slow you straight over that. I'm not bothered. We'll get it on the next pass. Hiya Daniel, how are you doing? Oh yeah, I can imagine, mate. Take a lot more time for the tyres to warm up, I can imagine. 
Right, you go to empty or what? It says it's still emptying. But it definitely isn't. Uh, I'm running the GT4, mate. It doesn't like empty much here, does it? Oh, it's weird that, isn't it? Normally you can just reverse straight back over and it'll empty. Oh, it's empty now. Beautiful. Good old farm sim physics, eh? <laughs> Beautiful. Right, let's get me out of here. I oh, don't say it. I'm stuck. <laughs> no. She's trying, like, she's trying. Ah, she's out. She's out. Tell you what, we'll stick this away in here. So I've got more to do, I've got a tiny bit of collecting to do, I've got a bit of tidying to do in the thing, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go and finish this field. And at least then we know it's done. What am I doing up there? Uh, do we get it turned around there, that'll be. Right, the Volvo SKRS shifter fully compatible with the Slushmaster. Yeah, that's all it is, mate. Yeah, just standard USB. Very, very simple. Right, so she should lie now, I reckon. Yeah, there we go. Top man. Good old version was correct. Uh, I'm using the uh, realistic gearbox mod from GitHub. Uh, I will do a video on it and I will link it. I just want to make sure it actually works, uh, which it does. A lot to it though. I have, I'm a very noob when it comes to it, but my God, there's a lot to it. But for anyone who actually knows out about farming, which to be fair, there's an awful lot of farmers play this game. So for anyone like that, it's perfect, I think. I do like having the older tractors different to the other tractors and what I like about the mod is you can have every tractor set up separately. It saves it. Which I think is pretty cool. So every time you get in a tractor you have to change your gearbox. Not every time but when for the first time you have to change it. Farm though, it looks epic, doesn't it? 
Yeah, good sensation driving too, you find when it's busy. When it works well. You should really turn around there, like. I was looking at a realistic slurry mod the other day, it's not out yet. But it looks unreal. Dad? Is that you beeping? Ah, no, no, don't turn it off, I was just wondering, I didn't know if it was myself. You don't need to, I just I didn't know if it was my phone, I didn't know if I need to check it. Okay. What are you playing like? Ah. Have you got face cam on like? Uh, I would have tuned in, but no point. Right, she's full, boy. Hey, Andrew. Uh, yes and no, because I haven't actually put it on hold. I will be just carrying on with it as soon as it just works again. But the, the main thing is, if, say, Friday I knew I wasn't going to be about, I would do a few videos now for Friday. At the moment, especially today when I was just doing testing and things, I can't really do a, like a, not realistic, but trying to do like a, a little bit of a role player type farm. It's difficult when you try to learn something new, so streaming's way better for that. Uh, so yeah, it'll just be back to normal shortly. I've got a couple of videos saved up, so if I'm not on one night, like tonight I was going to possibly not be on. Uh, I'm just going to see how Emma feels when she gets in. Follow the slurry. Perfect. Right, I reckon two more tanks of slurry and we should be good. I must say as well for the farm sim now, I'm loving using the GoPro. It does give you guys a really good uh, view of what I actually see. You just see so much more than just the screen capture as well, you know. Ah, I keep forgetting to go in left. I need to go in left because my fill-up pipe's on the left, so... This tanker, right, this is a lizard slurry tanker, and honestly, I can't recommend this enough. It's just off the mod hub, completely free, nothing, like, not hard to get hold of, right? But have a look at it. It looks unreal. So it's got a fill, it's got a fill nozzle, as you can see. Oh, got sand there. 
Yeah, you see the field nozzle going up, so that's pretty cool. But look at the tyres, man. This is what I see around my end, where I live a lot. This sort of size. Really, really, it's a really nice mod. I'm going to need to get a big slurry tanker for the farm so we can drive it to the fields, you know. Oh, Harry, I can imagine, man. Uh, anyone that's, like, timing the comments out for, like, someone saying shitting themselves and that, you honestly don't need to. Stuff like that's fine. Anything used within good context, but any racial stuff and that, obviously, yeah, just get rid of, or sexist, or whatever. Jack, most, most of my mods are all from the mod hub which is built into the game, so just go to, before you go into your career mode, just go to the mod section, all the mods are in there. If you don't see many mods, don't forget to press uh, X and, and show all mods. Right, so this, this is this field done, we'll go down and do the next one and then we'll need to sort the pit. Uh, I've only got a telehandler so the pit's going to be slow. <laughs> uh, but if need be I'll just get a, I'll get a, uh, uh, a leveller for the back of the tractor because I'm, I'm quite good in the pit with a leveller. Tiny bit, beautiful. Grizzly King, how are you doing? Right guys, I'll just be two minutes. I need to go and cut the other field, but I just need to go and sort uh, Mr. George out because he's having a an interesting day today. I don't know why. He's very vocal. Right, I'll be five minutes. Right, hi everybody. How's it going? I'm just on uh, watching Sarah blasting things with her uh, a gun. It looks quite good that um, that red whatever she's playing. So I've never played Red Redemption, so I've never seen anything about it. So uh, it looks looks fairly good. Uh, hi, Bradley. How's it going? Yeah, I'm in Photoshop at the moment, just messing about. <laughs> As you do, learning this, uh, I don't know if I can put a photograph in there, I don't know, maybe you can, maybe you can't, uh, I don't think you can, no, I broke it, yeah, there's probably a way to do it, uh, right, let's start chat, that'll do, yeah, what's everyone else up to today? I'm enjoying it though, I like learning something new. 
so this new effect they've got is pretty pretty good so I haven't started doing anything complicated yet but I'll uh, you know once I get it into my head what I'm supposed to be doing I know that it's uh, I'll tell you what I don't know whether they can do that in the other um, I'm just kind of learning now to go from instead of going from flat mat to the most chrome I'm trying to get a sort of a bit of a change in between so it'll sink in uh, headspace really you know I'm just I don't know learn something and then it just disappears so I've got to go over it quite a few times you know uh, hey Lucas how's it going yeah I mean I'll uh, I mean I like the GT4 Bradley uh, as I say I mean the tutorial I uh, I've just followed on the RS3 because that's what he did it on so just so I could follow along it made a bit more sense. I was trying to do it on another car, but I got myself a bit confused, so... But once it sinks in, I can go and do the other cars properly, you know? Uh, and then probably try different designs, you know? I have Flack. Uh, <laughs> we clearly know I can't on an afternoon, I can't see clearly. Uh, right, Josh, anyway, you can get a mod list. Um, I'm not sure what Mark's done on Discord. Uh, I think he did have an idea to do some kind of list for trucking and farming, so... Uh, right, Bradley... I mean, I like the... I like the um, Porsche. I was I was hoping that um, Wompy might come in and tell us what he thought of it as well. It's not obviously he hasn't got the same handling as the GT3 car, but... Yeah, I, I, I like it. I like it better than the RS3, I've got to say. But I think the RS3 is just a case of just the seat time and, and not over trying to overdrive it, you know. Hey, Rich. Hey, Richard, how's it going? Yeah, but I've been enjoying a bit self, actually. I'm going to get some more coffee in the mouth tonight, so... So that's quite good. I thought I'll... Uh, it's, it was on my mind, so you know, I don't know what you're like if you wake up and there's something on your mind to do. I'm I, I quite, uh, quite keen to get on with it, you know. Hiya, Simon. How's it going? Hiya, Callum. Alright, Josh. Yeah, I don't know whether he's actually done it. Someone might be able to point him in the right direction if anyone knows Discord and if Mark's been able to do that yet. Uh, yeah, uh, that's it, Brad, to 100%, I, I found that when I was trying to just hop on on a Sunday and go and do, a, a, you know, have a bit of practice and expect to do well, you know, it, it, I wouldn't tell anyone to do it, and I was doing it completely wrong, I should have at least been doing some practice in it, but it just sort of time really, you know, uh, not like I can practice all afternoon and then do a race as well, I just can't physically uh, do that, so I end up uh, knocking myself. Right, looks a good tractor Mark's been using there. Well, I'm just having a look at that. But uh, yeah, I mean, God isn't uh, YouTube without that. It's unbelievable. I would have been really stuck. I didn't even know what a spec map map was, but. Uh, I hope they can end up putting it into other games for you sk people who do skins and that. Uh, Kieran, he's just going to let uh, George out. I uh, see sometimes when the dogs go out, they won't come back in. So I just let Mark do it and he can go and chase them around the garden. Uh, absolutely, Bradley. Completely agree with you. It's just, I'm not blaming the car. It's 100% me. So, just just the way it is. Yeah, I see he's gonna. He's already started doing some of the. Uh, I think skip barber. I think so. But if I can learn this, I'll I'll try and help out at least by doing a car or something, you know. But um, once it gets into my head, like you know what I what how to do it. So, are you Peter? I hope you're well. 
So yeah, I don't know what can't actually it'll be a GT car or something. I suppose that they'll need or I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Jason, he can't start because he's not in his chair. As soon as he's back, he will start. I'm sure. Oh, Bradley, hundred percent. I, I, uh, I get very frustrated with myself uh, because changing from car to car, uh, like project cars, I do struggle. Um, and I think I'm, I, I am, I am slightly better in the slower cars. To be quite truthful, you know. So, just a skill level really, that's all. <laughs> yeah, because of the lead foot. Okay, I'll, I'll catch everyone later. Someone was asking about... Uh, For your Euro truck? Oh, I, I can't. I've got all the mods out the mod hub. Again, there's hundreds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Ken. Simon, uh, Matt, good to see you back. Ah, oh, cheers, dude. It's good to be back, man. I'm loving the farm. And uh, as I say, the farm sim videos I'm doing a bit more, well, trying to do a little bit more realistically. And I am generally enjoying them. But today would have been useless because I will learn how to use the gearbox mod. So trying to do that uh, while trying to do a, a realistic source of like video would be would be pointless, really. So. Once I know what I'm doing with this, and I can actually make the tractor move, that'll, that'll help. Right, we'll go and mow this other field, and then uh, we've got a bit of uh, seeding to do, I think. So, let's go and find me more tractor. Ah, there she is. Right, let get this turned on. Right, so we're more on. Hunt more on. First high is where we want to be for more, I think. Afternoon, David. Cheers for that, dude. Oh, I've got that wrong. Just cut a little bit, little bit, a little bit early there. Very clutch control there. Lovely. Yeah, see you later Bradley, you take care dude. I'm thinking of doing that Kieran at 11, yes, but it all depends. If my wife fancy goes, fancies going out then, or doing something together, then uh, I'll just come on at about 10, and I'll do Euro truck. But if she doesn't, then uh, I'll be on a day. My dad's out tonight as well, so I thought I would give her the offer, but I would say probably not. The mirrors to work, uh, there's a mirror mod so you can m move them. This particular tractor, the mirrors are a bit useless. Uh, they don't work very well. You're loving the lights on me rig, what, what, what lights? You mean like the the way the rig looks like like this, or you mean I haven't really got any LEDs or anything like that. I do want to get some like my dad uh, eventually. Right, get this knocked out, roll this up, and then stick this in the pit, and then we need to try and compact it with a telehandler, which is going to be interesting. I only normally use a shovel or a tractor, so I might nip to the shop and get a leveller. I don't know. But if you, if anyone followed this particular series, you'll remember that we did already do all this, and we had the pit nearly full, uh, but obviously I lost that. Because uh, I made a mistake of starting the farm online, uh, and apparently that's delete all your food pens. But someone did tell me that if you want to have an online farm, if you start the farm first, then save it on single player, then put that farm online, that works fine. So that's, that's what I would do next time. 
Ah, she is uh, Simon. Yeah, the new lights we did get uh, d definitely have made a difference uh, from the from the like the photography side of it. Yeah, and the GoPro I think looks as good as it's ever going to look. I mean, the screens look great. You can't see down here, which is brilliant. So it doesn't matter what any of the other room looks like. It's great. Yeah, I don't mind the gearbox mod now, now I roughly know what I'm doing, but as I say, every tractor you've got, you've got to do separately, so we've only got three tractors, so it's not too bad, but once we add more tractors to the farm, it, it'll get a bit more complicated, I think. Josh, no, no issues at all. Uh, Jack, the only reason I'm ignoring some of your comments, dude, is because I'm a live streamer and I'm here to primarily play the game. I am not Google. Uh, so, you know, if, if one person tends to ask a thousand questions a stream, I do ignore them sometimes. So, I apologise, but I'm here to chat and chill and, you know, I'm not here to just answer go questions all the time. Uh, I don't mind certain ones, but, you know. Right, so, she's done. We'll fold her up. Lift the front one, fold the back. That should be that lifted as well. Yeah. Easy question. I've just noticed there's a question coming there, but uh, did many of you guys actually do cotton in farm sim? Do you do the cotton side of it? Because I don't see much people ever talking about it, to be honest. I mean, I, I personally don't. Sorted. Right, I need to roll that up and collect that. Oh, Simon, you do. That's good, man. Uh, no, that's not what I want, is it? on the wrong way, I should have gone left. <laughs> right, down and back up. <laughs> Patrick, I like that. you got a decoration cotton field, but you don't actually do anything with it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's not... It's not the fact that it's hard work about the cotton. I just, I think, I think a lot of us live fa the farming that we see, uh, and obviously where I live, it's all grass farming. So I generally like doing cattle and, and stuff like that. So I think that's all it is. Right, low box, clutch in, get that folded down. Yeah, David, I, I think, you know, 
slurry and all that because obviously I lived in a in an old uh, fa like I lived in an old abandoned like farm building uh, farmhouse sorry for for a long time and uh, I think obviously a lot of the stuff me and my wife witnessed. Oh, I clipped that thing last time, didn't I? Right, hang on. I'm gonna need to repair this. Start again. <laughs> right, turn it back on. About here, I reckon. Ah, you see, you see, I'm going, I'm going out too far. You see, uh, too close. Go round like that. Nailed it. I work on a farm where you live yet. Got you there. So they'll have this game. Every time I see you streaming it, I'm tempted, but I don't know. See. Back in the day, if you play the game properly, I mean, I don't know because a lot of the modern maps don't have it now. Uh, oh, interesting. Uh, hang on. GoPro's just took a poo. Oh, generally has taken an actually an actual poo. Ah. Well, that's about one. I love being able to put the tractor in actual neutral, man. That is good. See, the problem is with me and my dad is we run the GoPros on full power all the time and we have them charged so they get super hot. Right, Dad. What did you shut the door for? Oh, I didn't mean to. No, no, no leave, leave, leave it because they're quiet. I know, I gave them the bones. Quieting them down, Ken. Does it work? Ah. Yeah. No. Uh, no, all it is with the GoPro is it's just, it just gets a bit hot. Uh, that's all it is. Just every now and again, like it's, it's nothing major. I know, David, definitely is. Cheers for sending that out, mate. I appreciate that. Much appreciated. Yes, I hear you're after a, a 1080 Ti as well. Uh, they're a hell of a car and there's so many people after them. Uh, they are becoming just like rocking horse poo. And it's funny because when games eventually start using more VRAM, uh, them, them 1080 Ti's are going to become... I, I generally think NVIDIA made a mistake making them because it's a bit like the old Titans and that. Clock speeds and all that are, are something and they do. it does help, obviously, massively. Uh, but eventually, the smaller cards, a 1080, 2070, the 8GB of VRAM is not going to be enough. I mean, a long time away, yeah, don't get me wrong, but that's when these older cards will come back in their, uh, into the glory because uh, a 1080 beats the old Titan, but the old Titan has 12GB of VRAM. So eventually, when when the VRAM is more important than the... Uh, you know, obviously, the, than the uh, the clock speeds, they are actually going to become handy again. So, I think you bought a Titan, actually, funny enough. Yeah, 4K is greedy, I know. Definitely, I mean, it's just there's just not that many people gaming in 4K, though, like, from a simulation point of view. A desk gaming point of view, yes. But from a simulation point of view, not so much. And that's purely because... It's just no point in pushing four, three 4K screens, so what a lot of triple screen gamers go for is 1440p. So, 
I mean, the car that I'm running right now, obviously, it's 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 a tank. Uh, but you know, I'm running a 2080 Super at the moment, and uh, it's fantastic. But the where are we at in here? Uh, oh yeah, I need another tractor. Yeah, so, but the 1080 Ti that my dad's running that I used to have, it, 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 that thing's a monster as well, you know. That's it, that's it. Dave, it's all about getting the one that suits your setup, you know. I love how you put it in reverse and it removes the view of the back for you. That's epic. Salmon's going superb, my mate. It really is. I'm loving it. Yeah, I mean, technically, you, w you would draw the whole field, then pick this up, but to be honest, it gives us a couple of jobs to do, and I'm getting used to this gearbox mod. It's, it's good. I'll definitely do a video on it. I mean, I won't be able to do a how-to video, because I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'll be able to show you where to download it from. It is very, very good. Very surprised. It's better than the Farm Sim 17 gearbox mod by a long way, and that was good. To be, I use that all the time. One of my biggest videos that I've got has that rod on it, funny enough. One of my most viewed videos. Uh, ooh, good question. Uh, I mean, if, if you've never had a wheel, uh, it would be worth trying to pick up a second-hand Logitech wheel. Uh, if you're thinking about that cheap, uh, then a Logitech wheel will be your best because it'll start you with a, a 900 degrees wheel, it'll give you force feedback, and it'll give you uh, three pedals and a shifter. So anything like a G27, a G920, I mean, G27 you will get fairly, fairly cheap. So that's what I would recommend. Beautiful. Nailed it. Alright, roll the rest of this up and then we're good. Yeah, that's the best thing I can uh, I can recommend me to be honest. Uh, if you want, I can actually send you some links. Uh, yeah, I can send you, I can send you some off the Facebook Marketplace if you're happy with getting it off there. Uh, but yeah, G, a G27. I saw someone pick a G25 up for 40 quid, uh, three pedals and the shifter. Uh, the only thing is, obviously, no warranty. You know, if it's had a hard life, but the choice you take with second hand stuff, unfortunately. Oh, absolutely, yeah, I'll, I'll have a look about, but I, I mean, I, if you had a bigger budget, I would go straight down the Thrustmaster route, the Thrustmaster T500, T300, uh, TX, you know, anything like that, that's what I personally would buy, uh, but it's a, hell, it's, a, it's a lot more money, so Logitech's a good starting place, it just is, it's just fact. One of the good things about this mod, you know, if you're on single, 
if you're on single screen, so imagine you've only got this screen, uh, you can actually, so if you do control and C, and go to the f this one here, the camera tool, you can go to interior camera rotation, turn that on, and as you can see, if I put my centre screen on, so this is what you guys would normally see, as you're farming along, when you turn the wheel, it'll actually turn the camera. Uh, you can adjust that as well, which is pretty cool. So when I do a U-turn down here, you'll see that it'll turn the camera, you see. So you can see the rows that you're coming up to. Obviously, it's a bit stuttery and that because of what I'm doing, but yeah, you get the, you get the gist of it. It's, it's, it's cool, man. Obviously, on triple screen, it's not needed because I can see the row. So when I come up to my the end of my pass and I start turning, I don't need that. It's just a bit weird because obviously I've got the triple screen, so I'll just turn that back off. But honestly, I will do a video on this mod. It's well worth it. Yeah, I think they did take it from ETS2, mate. I generally do, yeah. Uh, Tundra, I've been playing farm sim for a couple of years now, but I've only just got into the whole seasons and all that type of thing. I, I'm, I'm very far behind with it, with seasons and that, to be fair. Uh, but I am learning and I'm loving it. I am really enjoying learning on stream and stuff. This tractor is set up perfectly for the gearbox mod, I like it. Cheers Nathan, appreciate it dude. Uh, my triples were around about 125 quid each. Uh, and then I've got a, a Samsung TV on the top. Which I, I really don't like the TV. If anyone was going four screens for streaming, I would highly recommend just buying four of the same. I used to have four of the same, but when I changed, I never got four of these. When these were on offer on Christmas, I should have just got another one. Uh, they were 98 pounds at Christmas. Uh, one, uh, I'm Andy with tools, one to 150. I mean, 150 will neither enough get you a G29 from Curry's when they're on sale. Oh, RPM too low. Yeah, 150 will nearly get you a G29, uh, brand new with warranty. Uh, but I'll have a look around and see if I can find any good deals for you, David. But me, see, if I had my time round again, because I did Logitech, I did Thrustmaster, I did Fnatic, so. If I had my time round again, I would definitely choose to cut out the Logitech uh, and just go straight down the Thrustmaster route. Uh, I, I would buy a T300 or a TX, deal with the, the no three pedals and deal with not having a shifter for a month or two. Then I would buy the TH8A shifter next and then I would buy some pedals. Uh, and the TH8A shifter is just a magnificent shifter. Obviously I'm lucky now, very, like, very lucky I've got a Fnatic, but if I didn't get that second hand off my uncle, I would probably would never have bought the Fnatic Shifter new. Uh, I just got, I got a very good deal on my Fnatic start up here. Exactly Scott, that's all I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, I'll have a look and see what, what, what I can find you. I mean, I did see an Alcantara T300 the other day with the uh, the, rim, the rim on its own, 150 quid. I saw that with a T300 for 200 quid. Uh, and the wheelbase is like 250. And then you've obviously got the, the extra rim on top. So even that's like a hell of a deal because it's like 450 quid worth of gear. That came with three pedals as well.
Uh, this farm I've been on for, I do two hour episodes, I think we're on what, episode five now I think, so, you know, ten hours maybe, uh, maybe less than that, but I did restart the farm one episode ago, uh, from scratch again, uh, because I made a mistake of putting the farm online, and it deleted all my animal pens. Fnatic 4, CD, GT2 on eBay. Oh, mate, that Porsche wheel is a phenomenal starting wheel. That Fnatic wheel with a THAD shifter and a pair of, like, old club sport pedals. Oh, like, dream stuff. Absolute dream. The only downside is if you really want to, like, mod it and you want to put different rims and all that, it's no good, but... The, proper rim on it is unreal it's a really really solid wheel though definitely right I need to jump in the telly and see if we can make something nice of that <laughs> right. I'll just park this up here for now right can we make that look better I haven't done the mod on the uh, telehandler yet either, so the gearbox mod, so we'll need to sort that out. But I'll leave it how it is for now, I think. I think that'll be fine. Uh, we'll have a quick nosy at it. So camera rotation off. Uh, backwards inside, look backwards outside, no. Sensitivity. Peak sideways on. Snap angle, that's fine. Where else are we? Free steer, no. Throttle limiter, no. And then the gearbox. Which I think the gearbox will be fine, I think. She's quiet compared to the rest. Yeah, we've still got one, funny enough. Yeah, we've still got one. Alright, so we need to get this looking a bit better. This could be slow, this. I mean, I've got 160 grand, but I'll not get a, I'll not get a front loader for that, I don't think. Uh, flak, yeah, there's actually, uh, there's a 2070 near me, well, it's not near me, I, I nearly bought it, but he doesn't have PayPal, so it would, you would need to go and pick it up for 170 quid on the Facebook Marketplace. But yeah, 2060 for 360, if that's new, yeah, it seems USD, that's, that does seem quite good. <laughs> yeah, Marcus, mate. Y you're in with a, a, gr a group of older people. I wouldn't bother with them sort of comments, man. And also, most of them would probably have better crack than you anyway. And own your life, but because the polite gentlemen will not do that, this is going to take us all day to move this back here, bro. I'm tempted to go and get a big bucket because we're going to be doing a lot of pit work, but I generally don't think we can afford a big bucket. I mean, this will be well handy for bales. Right, I'll tell you what, let's have a look at our finances. Right, we don't... Oh, we don't own out. Excellent. Let's, let's start off with borrowing 150k and see where we're at with that. 
Alright. Oh, I, I, I thought we, uh, I thought we were gonna. Right, okay, no, we should be fine. Uh, right, so I want a wheel loader bucket. How big's that? Uh, that seems big. So what do I normally use? I normally use that, which is five thousand. That one is six thousand. So it seems like an idea for me, and that one is six and a half thousand. What do you reckon? Should we use a bucket or no? Nah, we should use a silage fork. I've answered your own question. Right, and then we need an actual machine. Uh, so we've got the cases in at one fourteen. So that that's cheap. We could get that to start with. Uh, well, actually, the Lebier is only one twenty six. That's one eighty, and the New Holland is. 175 so realistically we need to go with the levy air because that's the best value for money right there uh, we'll stick some tires on it this farm's not big enough for for narrow tires definitely not all right we'll go with that right we'll go and pick that up Right, I need to go and pick that up from the farm shop. Uh, I don't really have a powerful tractor, do I? 6910, you'll do. 6810, 60, 7810, Mike is muted. Don't think it is. Pretty sure it isn't, but you could be right, but I think you're wrong. Right, I don't know if we're gonna fit this on here, but we're gonna give it a good go. Ah, they're doing a bit of trolling. Excellent, I'll troll them. What's the IP address? <laughs> right, let's go to the shop, boy. Yeah, that's fine guys, I appreciate that. I think you're all watching the stream fairly far behind. Tobler, it is good, I like it. I do like it. Uh, we're not going fast, we're doing 25 mile an hour. 40 kilometers, what's that, about 25 mile an hour I think. It might look like it on the uh, GoPro, like, but... Yeah, this thing's nice to drive with a gearbox as well. My only gripe is I generally don't think we're going to get this on the trailer. My, my only worry is I'm not getting this on the flatbed. If that's the case, we'll sell the flatbed and buy a bigger one. But I reckon we should get it on.
I know Darwin, I could but I'm lazy. It's not that big actually. Doesn't sound good compared to the JCB one and that, does it this? Looks alright though. She's a bit she's a bit stuttery like. Oh it's got that Steven mod in as well, hasn't it? Aye, no that's what it is. I thought it was uh, stuttery there, but for some reason on triples. The camera rotation is very stuttery, so we'll turn that off. We should be alright. Yeah, sort of. No more stutter. Excellent. Well, you reckon stick it on backwards? Uh, I know, that's what I was thinking, that and stick the thing over the top. That technical term, that, isn't it? Well, you with no mirrors, I generally can't see anything. Oh, we're not far off, you know. Alright, that. bad boy in I mean would I fit that actually straight on? Oh she fits a beaut fits no bother I don't know what you're all worried about, man. I mean, it literally looks made to measure. Eh, uh, Mr. Petal, he's just doing his job, pal. If someone said hello twice, he's just removing the message. How are you doing, Pixel, anyway? I hope you all do. And I don't think Ben actually moved it, I think, did he? Oh, he's talking about you. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, Ben, he's not spamming, mate. He's all right. He's just chatting. His chat's not actually moving very fast, so it does look like he is, but he actually isn't. Hey, Knightley, how are you doing, dude? Hey, Danny, long time, how are you doing? I'm doing good, man, yeah, just taking my new toy home. No, no, I know, mate, you're all right, Ben, you're all right. You, you, you're normally one of the better moderators, so I don't panic. It was just a, it was just a mention. Mr. Petal's okay. Right, so if I can use this and get this pit cleaned up a bit. I mean, we can sell the John Deere uh, telehandler, but to be honest, it will be handy for bills. And we still have 150 grand in the bank. So the actual uh, the loader on the back that we've got wasn't actually that expensive. <laughs> it's only 120 grand, that. I did leave it in reverse, yes. Just, just in case, you know. Seen the sun reflecting off the windscreen. <laughs> Seasons is very good, like. Hey, I have my mic doing good, man. How are you?
It's so good being able to put it in neutral, man. Alright, let's get this thing off the back. Excellent. I definitely didn't leave it running. This thing's colourful inside, isn't it? It's lovely. I like this. I might have to move that out of the way though. Oh no, alright. Don't give me that, man. Thought I wasn't going to let me tip there. Uh, Andrew, as far as I know, yes, I'm a definite no, but I don't know yet. Uh, yes, Mr. Heppel, yeah. I am indeed. This machine's nice inside, man. The colours in it are stunning. This this mod here at the bottom where it shows you your, uh, your distance for your fork and all that, that, that is Andy, like... Try and move this to the back a bit. <laughs> Any tips on mapping the joystick? <laughs> Buy a farm sim side panel. I mean, it's just time, mate, that's all. But, yeah, hence why I bought a farm sim side panel. Just plug it in and it just works. It's so good. Eh, uh, I don't know. I don't know, Nickus. I don't know how many is in today. Farming's what, normally about 90 to 100 ish. Normally ish, round about that. But I have just been messing about with the gearbox mod, so that might have annoyed a few people. There's 247 in for farm sim. Jesus Christ, that's that's. I may as well just retire now. That's a lot, man. Well, hello, everyone. Well, the 247 that are in, I take it you're enjoying the farm sim live streams. And That's definitely cleaner than it was, but I think I might move some of it over a bit. <laughs> I got a shock there, I thought you were going to say like 40 people or something. That's good, man. I I, I don't, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit embarrassing when you try to learn something new, you know. And uh, you've got quite a lot of people watching, you know. Ah, cheers, Hammer Mike, I appreciate that. As I say, I do actually prefer farming. I prefer doing recorded videos just an hour long. Honestly, it's enough. I really, really enjoy it, and then I really look forward to getting on the next day, you know, so... I definitely will be keeping up with that, but at the moment, just with trial and error stuff, this is working awesome, man. And the reason I've not been bashing out the videos too much either is there's a few bits going on in the room, and... I've got my rig to redo sometime this week. Uh, different monitor stand, different seat, that sort of stuff. Little care package from Sim Labs. I 
How do you get Mod Manager on what on Farm Sim? It's just in the main menu, mate. It's literally called Mods. You got career, multiplayer, options, mods. Just go in the model. Ah, okay, Jack, well, you mustn't have any mods and... It's funny, right, people like Jack, right, so he's gone in the mod hub, it's blank, right? Normally, look, it tells you everything to do at the bottom of the screen, right? So, instead he's coming here asking me, which is fine, I, don't, I, don't, I honestly don't mind as much. So, well, he's coming here straight away without actually looking at the bottom of his screen and the top of his screen where it'll say up updates, downloads, install mods, you know, it's so simple. Uh, and it does it does just work. And he'll come back in ten minutes and go, ah oh, yeah, got it sorted. Alright, so this can go back in the farm because we don't need this, which is perfect. I mean, obviously, I, I, I've fallen a bit far behind at the moment. I've only got like two or three recorded at the moment, but I will get back into them, definitely. I was actually starting to really enjoy it, you know. Right, so we're going to bring a few bits back into the farm now. Tidy up a little bit, and I'm going to slow your field before we come off. Right, so that's in neutral. Excellent. So I don't make a mistake. Right, so I've got... Uh, how often do I stream? Uh, normally about three, four times a day, two hours a stream. So normally about six to eight hours a day is what I normally try and get done. Or I'll do two one-hour videos and uh, two two-hour streams, something like that, you know. I think you can use... Farm Sim 19 now with Sim Dash. You can, just not on this map. <laughs> it's a uh, map map based, so if the modder hasn't put access in for it, it doesn't work, unfortunately. Uh, it works on Oakfield, lovely, does not work on Charwood, which I'm gutted, uh, Charwell, because this is my favourite farm. <laughs> so, but it's one of them things, isn't it? Right, I'm just going to get this washed while we're here. So... Uh, how do I get this washed? Don't actually know if I can with this. I think it's more on uh, tractors and that. Right, that's fine. Hi, Asylum Farmer. I was live treating you, dude. You're gonna laugh at me trying to reverse this thing now, because it's a friggin' pain in the neck. It's because it's rear steel, that's all it is. So, like, very little increments equal massive turning. Uh, my next stream will be 8, unless I decide to do something with Emma. Uh, my dad's out tonight as well. Emma's not really been that well at the moment, so... Hence why I took last night off, so... I'll just see if she fancies doing out. I don't imagine she'll want to go out, but... Jay said he'll buy the steak, so... If we're going out, I just need to take Jay's credit card with us. Unless his missus has got it, actually. What? I haven't even got big wheels on. Shut up. Oh, you're right, you're right there, Richard, mate. You are right there. All right, look at the bottom. There's a key you can push to show you mods. Yes, there is. It says X. You look at the top first. You select the top one. I 
I honestly don't know than Jack. I mean, I don't know. Are you on Xbox? Are you on PlayStation, PC? I mean, it, the mods work. My wife's been playing it on Xbox and it works. So, I know for a fact it does work. Alright, next one's to tidy up before we do a bit of slurrying. Uh, we'll get rid of this flatbed. Hiya Mason, well I was thinking of doing some Forza tonight but it just depends if I get on uh, Euro Truck at 8. If I get on Euro Truck at 8 I'll do Forza at 11. Because obviously my dad's not in tonight. I've never played BMMG, my dad owns it funny enough but I've never played it. You don't have it on Steam, it shouldn't it shouldn't make a difference, Jack. It's the mod hub, like it shouldn't make a difference. I used to not have it on Steam and I still had the mod hub. I can show you at the end if you want, but I mean it's very, very simple. Uh, you just gotta press X when you're on the mod hub to give you all the mods. It tells you at the bottom of your screen. So, right, so we are going slurry in, but I'm missing a tractor. Uh, uh, we'll take we'll take the other one for the slurry. Ah, uh, it must just be your it must just be your game then, Jack. Unfortunately, they must have just decided that you don't have any mods. Uh, hello. Amount of rubbish calls you get nowadays, man. It's brutal, isn't it? Eh, uh, Forza Horizon 4 it'll be, mate. Yeah. Yeah, we play all sorts on how you like. Yeah, what it'll be is he won't have any mods installed and he'll be on installed mods. So all he needs to do, there's a bar at the top of the screen, he just needs to click on the far left one. This thing sounds epic. Oh, you have it on disc? Oh, right, okay, I don't know. I don't know if you'll get the mod up on disc, I'm not sure. Possibly not then. You might just have to use the website then. I mean, for the price of it, I would just buy it on page on on Steam, man. Jesus. Unless you know, unless you're still you know into the whole floppy disk thing and that, you know. But honestly, I've had. I used to my my first ever Euro Truck Simulator 2 was on disk. Funny enough, but I just rebought it on Steam because it's just a waste of time. Think of how much time you've just spent trying to get the mods working. You could have bought and installed it on Steam quicker than what it w you'll take. But you can just download them off the website. It's just it's a bit more time consuming. Uh, one of the good, good things about Farm Sim 19 is mod hub. I love the fill level. How good is that? Uh, what's the button to access gear settings? The button to access gear settings is Control C. Left Control C. C for I can't say. 
I could have said Charlie, but I wasn't going to say Charlie. I was going to say something else. Because <laughs> I'm a child. No, honestly, Jack, I, I'm not pulling your leg. Try to go on the Kingwin or CD keys or something like that. Or wait until there's a steam sale. Uh, but if you've got loads of time on your hands, to be honest, you could just go and uh, download every mod separately off the website. So just, just type in uh, Farm and Sim 19 Mod Hub or something on Google and go on the Farm Sim website, go to mods, categories, and then pick the mods you want. But honestly, mate, it'll take you all day. Cork, that's exactly what I was thinking. That's the one, mate. But yeah, you could do it that way, but it, honestly, if you're going to play Farm Sim for a long period of time, I would just go and buy it on Steam, personally. Uh, Eric, I don't know, and it's not a Farm Sim 19 setup. It's a simulator setup, primarily for racing. Hence the sequential shifter, the wheel being quite straight on, the race seat that I'm sitting in, as you can see. Uh, so I just use it for other things like farm sim and euro truck but it, it i just adapted to work so when i'm racing i take this off uh, when i'm trucking i put the truck shifter on if i'm racing i take the truck shifter off and put another shifter on so yeah you just adapted to suit your needs uh, obviously i've got a dash here so that normally has farm sim stuff on that's a farm sim dash there and the farm sim dash there as well so, or, as I say, if I'm going to go trucking, uh, I can go here, click on Euro Truck, that puts a, a Euro Truck dash on, there's Euro Truck sat nav, another old dashboard, a couple of new dashboards. If I want to go racing, I can go on say, what racing games do I play, there's a question. Uh, well, Forza for instance, Forza Rising 4 will be on there tonight. Uh, there's another one so the, the 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 whole setup's adapted to suit everything cars trucks you know uh yes it would be yeah uh, i think you'll be looking i, I honestly don't know because you, you 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 buy the stuff like over six seven years so I, I generally don't know but you'd be looking around for everything but the computer about three and a half and then obviously however much you want to spend on a computer. You don't have to spend as much as me because not everyone's running a GoPro, running a stream, running four screens, as you can see. So, but yeah, you look at a three and a half, but it's, it is pretty like as good as you get. So, a bit like having a, a decent push bike, you know? Like, bikes are expensive. I, I know, Andrew, I, I don't think people realize it. There was someone asking me uh, in real life how much I spent, and. I said, well, to be fair, I said, how much does your car cost you? He said, oh. He said, I know that one. I paid four and a half for my car. I said, right, brilliant. So you've had your car for five years because he was telling us that it was paid for. And he uh, said, right, well, how much have you spent on your car? He's like, what do you mean? Well, MOT, taxed it, put fuel in it, and upgrades, you know, any repairs. He was like, I don't know. It was four and a half. I was like, yeah, four or five years ago. How much have you spent on it over the years? He's like, I don't know. I said, well, exactly. How am I meant to know? It's basically all it is, just a car. And even if you did add all up, add up all the big stuff, what about games? I mean, I'll have probably two grand's worth of games. I would imagine it'll be something like it'll be something stupid like that. All right, uh, where else are we? Play firm bus tourist bus sim. I've tried it. It's it's oh, terrible. Yeah. It's probably the best. <laughs> it's not my cup of tea, and also it's rubbish. Personally. Right, can I show you my P1X so far? Of course you can. Uh, Facebook group is your best place, or join the Discord. So you've got two places you can share pictures of your stuff. You've got the Facebook group, and then you've also got our Discord, which has a setups section that you can post as many pictures as you want in. There's the Facebook group, and there is the Discord. Oh, Jack, if you're looking for the Gearbox mod, mate, it's on GitHub. Just type it into Google, man. It's 
it's not on the model. You didn't say that's what you're looking for. Literally type in Farming Simulator 19 space gearbox mod enter and look for one that links you straight to GitHub and it's on there. And you know how I found mine? I clicked on a YouTube tutorial video and there was a guy showing you how to install it. I mean, hey Bradley, how's life? Right, let's get this bad boy finished, but I need to be in second gear. Yeah, Eric, yep. Yeah, yeah, that's the simulator, yep, that's what I use. Yeah, so, me, me simulator and all that. As I say, and I, I've not paid for a lot of it, so I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I'm only basing it on the stuff that I've bought. So, I, some of it's sponsored. I paid for me whole rig and me sim, I paid 700. So, for all my fanatic stuff, I paid 700. I got it all second hand. Uh, so, it was about 1,400 screens were 300 quid. So, there's 1,700. The seat was just under 400 quid. So. There's 2,000, well yeah, 2,100 quid. Uh, Alma shifter I didn't pay for. Uh, keyboard was like 20 pound or something like that. I can't, I can't think of the top of my head. This was 40 quid. You know, you, you're looking about three and a half with everything, with all the extra wheels and that that I've got, uh, with, without the computer. For what I paid for it. As I say, a lot of the stuff on here is either sponsored, I've got through you guys donating, which is fantastic, uh, or second hand. Some of the stuff I've got second hand is embarrassing. It really is. Uh, Donald, there isn't any, uh, there isn't any force feedback, dude. Uh, I mean, personally, Eric, yes, pretty expensive, but also for a hobby, pretty cheap, to be honest. Hobbies are expensive, mate. I've had plenty of them, and uh, this is probably one of the cheapest hobbies I've had. If I'd have had the highest grade stuff of each hobby. Uh, car hobbies was obviously one of the deepest. Uh, photography, you know, I mean, there's old blokes walking around outside taking photos of flowers and that. Never actually looking at the photos, and their cameras are worth more than this, like, by a long way. So, like, project cars, I've got so many friends that are into rallying, track days, stuff like that, and to be fair, before this, my passion was push bikes, and yeah, I had way more money in push bikes than what I've got in here, o on this particular setup, definitely. And that's it, I don't drink, I've got one bad habit which I smoke, uh, which I love, so, and that's it, uh, I, don't, I don't go out, don't drink, don't have nice clothes, just go to Primark, you know, it does me. So the only real thing that I kind of spent money on myself last year was my tattoo. So, and I was booked in to get my whole sleeve done, but obviously when we lost the dog, that changed dramatically. And it was just a point in saving me uh, deposit then. Right, uh, wanted to have a setup like that, but it's a long way away. Yeah, so I mean, I started mine uh, in 2000 and started for 13, I think, when I got my first stuff. So, yeah, you're looking seven years ago, so, so you come back when you in seven years and then let's see what you've got. It all depends how old you are as well, if you're working or not, because when I was working, like the hobby stuff that I had, I had way more, you know, you just had a lot of expendable income. Don't have kids, you know, I would love kids and I would I would throw all this out the window at the moment to have kids, but we don't have kids, so I've got this stuff which I love and then this year now this the room's done, my dad's got everything I've got, you know, more than I would have ever dreamt of having. Uh, I'm just gonna try and do something with Emma this year, so anything that we get through channel, through life, yeah, I'm just gonna save up and maybe go away with Emma. 
to the dills and nobody tell the animals because we've been trying to do it for four years now and every every year an animal's got sick or died i mean <laughs> they're all insured now but uh oh it's a nightmare man honestly you couldn't make it up it's literally like a sitcom i love this tractor and the gearbox board is mint i'll do a video on that this week for you though definitely Honestly, Jack, just you don't extract the files, but just watch the YouTube video when you type it into Google, just underneath the search bar, once you press enter, there's two or three YouTube videos. Literally, one of them shows you how to install it, mate. That's how I found out this morning. I was the same as you this morning, Jack. I had no idea. Right, boys, I'm going to call it there. I'm going to sort my doggy out. Oh, I'm sure we'll wait for five seconds actually. So I can do with finishing this field. Ah, I'll tell you what, we'll finish up when we get back. Bollocks to it. Yep, Eric, well, on a serious note though, like joking aside, I'll still be going in seven years, so why not come back? Let's see where he's out there. I think that's a fair way of judging it then, do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I'll be back at eight unless I'm uh, doing something with them. Uh, if I'm doing something with them, then my dad's not on, so I'll release a Dirt Rally 2 video that I've got, and then you'll know that I won't be on at eight. But I will be back on at ten, uh, doing Euro Truck. So yeah, plan is eight o'clock. I'll be on Euro Truck. Eleven o'clock, Forza. Unless the wife wants to do something, then it'll be Euro Truck at ten o'clock ish when she's gone to bed and uh, I'll release the rally at uh, 8, so there you go. See you all later, thanks again for joining, and I'll catch you all in the next one. If you've got any inspiration about the gearbox mods, or like any mods to use, or out like that, please let me know. Yes, 10 today, yeah, I, I stream two or three times a day. Uh, so yeah, I'll catch you all then, have a good one, take care, and catch you at 8pm, uh, and if not 8, I'll catch you at 10. See you later.